Hello water signs, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you so much for being here for your reading for Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. Today we're going to be looking at what is coming up in your love story. So we're going to suss out what your present energy is and what you can expect in the future in your love life as the weeks, months and years progress. So there may be something here that could be a bit of a glimpse into your future self, into your future love situation. So before I begin, um, to anyone after a private reading, please feel free to email me directly. Uh, anyone that would like to join a membership on the channel to get access uh, to bonus readings and extended readings, please feel free to do so via the join button on the homepage of my channel. Um, if you enjoy this vid, don't forget to drop a like, share, subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, let's jump straight into this here um, water sign. So as I was laying down the cards, the present energy, the first card that sort of fell out um, and I wanted to keep was the tower card. So it tells me that there is a big shakeup that's happening in your life at this present time. Um, and you're sort of a bit of a, like a fish out of water here. You're sort of thrown into the deep end. Uh, there's possibly been a big life change in your love relationships and you know things seem a bit different maybe you're jumping into a relationship maybe you're sort of being single maybe you're coming out of a relationship after a long time the tower card is a bit of turbulence so right now you're in a present energy where you feel there's instability around you it's a little bit chaotic but you're trying to keep your head above water and sort of go with the flow and see what happens the tower card can also indicate that right now you're in an you're in an energy where you just want to enjoy yourself okay it can be a little bit destructive possibly irresponsible here um, but eventually i feel the next card that's coming up with that nine of wands eventually you're going to start to put your guard up a little bit more so at this time there may be someone taking advantage and you're sort of playing along with it, you know, you're not really engaging too much, you're not really falling in love, you're sort of keeping, sort of maybe you're um, a distance towards someone here with the Nine of Wands, but eventually you'll come to a stage where you'll feel more protective about who you give yourself to, who you give, uh, give your time to, who you spend with, because you know that uh, your time, your energy, your heart, your spirituality, it's all very precious, and you'll only be giving it to the people that deserve you here, uh, Water Signs. So I feel like the, the walls are going to come up and you'll be more guarded, you'll be more selective, more picky, and you'll see the people that are truly, truly valuable in your life and the people that you truly want to engage in a relationship with. The next card over is the High Priestess, so ultimately you're going to get a little bit bored here, Water Signs. Um, ultimately, you're going to want more out of your life. You'll feel like there's a bigger reason, there's a bigger purpose, there's something out there that's calling you in your love life. For a lot of you, there's a, a pregnancy potentially that'll come up during that time, either falling pregnant or getting someone pregnant. It may be planned or unplanned, um, but it, it can be like a mother kind of energy um, with the high priestess. It's also a very powerful partnering up. Um, so you might start to receive signs from the universe that the person you're supposed to be with will either show up in your life, you'll hear from them, maybe you'll get repetitive angel numbers, you'll get signs, symbols, and synchronicities um, as to where you uh, belong and who you belong with. But I feel like at that stage with the High Priestess, you're going to be wanting more. And then eventually I see you following through with that and going after what it is that you want. A strong family um, energy here coming up around you. So by that time, you could very well be meeting someone who has children or you could be starting a family, maybe even prior to engagement, marriage or like a serious long-term relationship. The notion for family and children is going to be really important here for you. If that's not the case, family approval, family blessings is going to be very important with that Ten of Pentacles. But I see you um, in a creation stage by that time. So this is very powerful. You're either wanting to be more calm in your life. You're wanting familiarity by this stage. You know, you want to come home to that person. You want to make love to the same person every night. You know, you want that familiarity. You want to create a home. You want that stability. You're going to be craving it more and more. And a lot of you might find it in... Um, it's almost like it's going to be right under your nose. Interesting that the Three of Cups is here because it's telling me that you may find your lover through a friendship of some kind. That it's in fact a friend that may become a lover, someone that you've known for a long time, or someone that you're on friendship levels with. Um, it can also indicate that the people in your life are going to be very important. You know, you're going to walk away from friends, from loved ones, maybe even past relationships where you don't feel like people have your best interest at heart. 
you're going to walk away and sort of do away with any of those sorts of connections. Um, you also might get um, new friends and a new social circle, especially because you'll want to couple up and you'll be with someone or you'll want someone more serious by then. You're going to have a better crowd to hang out with, okay? Not as immature, um, not as maybe not as crazy and chaotic, more tame. Um, but I think you'll be ready for it by that time, water signs. And I think you'll be very happy because, you know, you've got the higher offense. So some of you by that stage could be getting married. Children can come before marriage, um, married uh, or remarried with the higher offense. Huge, huge change in your relationship status by then. Some of you might be signing a visa. You're getting into a civil partnership. There's some sort of legal documentation with the higher offense and justice connected to a relationship. Uh, it may be signing a lease. It could be um, getting a home loan together huge, huge stepping stone uh, between you and a person that in the eyes of the law, it's like you're legalizing something or you'll, you'll be cementing um, a relationship by then. There's a destined Taurus and a destined Libra that's coming up in your love story in your future here. So that's very exciting. Um, but I feel like with the higher event, uh, it could also be mixing love with business. So some of you may be starting a business with someone or having a romance with someone that you work with. Um, this person could even be married or taken, possibly even separated. For some, I do want to say water signs, you might get married and then get divorced soon after, or there may be a breakup. The marriage is there with a higher event. The justice card could be that it happened too quickly, it happened too soon, or maybe you weren't necessarily ready. So there might be a very short-lived sort of official situation, um, a short-lived visa, a short-lived lease. And it's important not to rush a love situation here because that's when we can get ourselves into a bit of a pickle here, water signs. So that's something that you need to be um, careful of. But I do see you having love by that stage because you have the Knight of Cups. So I obviously see you investing in a person, investing in a relationship, one where you're very happy and one that keeps you on your toes. You're going to really like that because no two days are the same with this person. It's almost like a wild roller coaster ride, but you're going to be so hooked and you're going to be very happy um, with what you have here. And then the next card I see is the King of Wands. So there might be a big move on the cards here. And now I'm talking some of you are moving across oceans and seas to be with your special person. Some of you are relocating. This could be entering into a long distance relationship or doing a long distance thing with your person by that stage. Um, but the King of Wands is massive movement in a relationship that uh, you'll be craving by then. You'll be really wanting it. Um, so I think you'll be at a good stage to make those changes. Some of you uh, looking into your long distance future with the Five of Swords may walk away from a situation or a person, a relationship or a marriage completely. At that stage, there may be someone else that comes into your life, maybe someone from your past that you want to rekindle things with. Uh, it could be someone uh, of your person there, their ex may come back into the picture. But I do feel like you'll walk away from a life that you once had. Maybe not necessarily walk away from that person, but it's almost like you're leaving behind an old chapter and coming into something that you've never, ever experienced here before. So that is very exciting here, Water Signs, but I will leave your reading at that. So thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. It does mean a lot. Don't forget to drop a like, share, subscribe. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.